So sometimes it's a bit glitchy um, while you're trying to start the uh, start the timer up. Uh, you can set it to be through the speaker and through the headphones, and even with the plug-in, it just won't give you any sound outside on the speaker, which made it difficult for recording. So I went ahead and I used the cord, and uh, sometimes I was having issues where you look down after it starts the timer, and it would jump up and show like 378 seconds. And I haven't even done anything, and 378 seconds haven't passed. And then there was a few times where it was just glitchy, and you can just kind of see it going back and forth. So it does have its problems. I mean, when it works, it seems to work well. But when it doesn't, I'll be honest, it's a pain in the butt. Stand by. Evil Clown. So here are some of the settings that you can use. Here under the general tab, you can set it to play through the speakers and the headphones. You can adjust the headphone value, show the uh, clear confirm uh, dialog, uh, and then also send the anonymous usage data back uh, to the uh, app makers. Uh, one of the problems that I was having is that playing through the speaker and headphones, uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't working very well. So that became an issue for me and I got a little frustrated with it. Uh, you have sensitivity here where you can set, you can see it's kind of moving there. You can also set the anti-echo, uh, which is nice when you're shooting in an indoor range, when you're picking up other shots from other shooters. Uh, I haven't been able to really test this out as much because you can't really do like double taps and things inside the range. So it makes it def difficult to really test this out. Um, so that's a feature I haven't really tried, but I mean, like I said, it's picking up something, so... Then you get down here to the shot timer, and you can start the delay. You can either turn that off and have none, or you can set it for as many seconds as you want. And you can have that kind of start randomly. So if you wanted to start it between 1 and 10 seconds so you're not standing there ready, uh, which is a nice feature, that seems to work. Here you have the start signal. So this is what it's going to call out when it comes time to start. You can either have the beep, uh, there's a different beep, a buzzer, a uh, threat, uh, contact, evil clowns, which is the one that I chose, fire, go, shoot, target. Then you get down here to the preparatory command, which is pretty much like a standby. So you could either have none or, again, these sayings um, for it to start you off. Then you get down here. And I haven't tried these because these are uh, kind of like uh, in between show par and the countdown timer and the auto restart. I had enough trouble actually getting it to start with what I was using. So I haven't really tested these out. Um, maybe in the near future I'll do a video again and see. Because like I said, it's a nice little range toy, something to carry with you. But I don't know about uh, actually using. Now the scoring type, time plus penalties. So, you know, I don't really know how well that works. Points with hit factor, so that would be it's picking up the report like you're shooting at a uh, steel target. Uh, time plus penalties, not quite sure what that is because I haven't used it either. Then we have here, saved results, which is just if you're taking your pictures and screenshots, which I had some trouble with as well. And then you have the feedback and support. 